Do you want to create a jaw-dropping electric text effect that will wow your audience? In this tutorial for DaVinci Resolve, even in the free edition, I'll show you how to achieve this stunning look step by step. No plugins are needed and all at a pace for beginners so you can follow along easily. Let's dive in. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new fusion composition. So right click in the media area and go new fusion composition. With that selected, we are going to go in and name this, whatever it is that you want to name, and you can adjust the time however you want. Once you create that, you will see that we need to drag the fusion composition down to the timeline. Once that's on the timeline, we're going to go into our fusion page. Once we're in there, you can see that only thing that we have in the fusion right now is the medium out. This is your viewers and there's nothing in the viewer right now because there is nothing on the output. We're going to drag a text in and we're just going to drag that down here. Once it's in the timeline, we are going to hook the output of the text to the input of the medium. And as you can see, now we have an output on our display. With our text selected, we are going to go over to the inspector window and we're going to at that point type in whatever it is that you want to put in for your text. In this case we're going to put skyline. From there we're going to put a font that we choose. You can put in any font that you want. We're now going to zoom this out. We're going to increase the size of our word so that we're mostly the whole page is covered. So as you can see right now there is nothing on this side of the inspector window. If you take a look at the tabs, there is a left and right tab. If you do the left side, you will then activate this tab. If you look at this side, you can activate the right side. This is the output. So this is going to be our input. This is our output. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go control space and we're going to add a edge detect. And with that edge detect, we're going to add that after the text node. That should bring up just the edges and detecting the edges only. With the edge detect selected, we're going to go over to the tools. We're going to bring this down to grayscale. We're going to make that grayscale. We're going to bring down the edge width. We're going to take that down to say 0.1. With the edge detect still selected, we're going to bring in a fast noise, just single click it. And we're going to bring this up just to keep things organized. When we do select that, it brings up a merge node. With the merge node selected, we are going to go in and apply mode we're going to make that into multiply with this apply mode as multiply it just makes us a little bit darker we're going to select our fast noise and we're going to bring that into the viewer as you can see there are some dark spots and white spots we're going to want this all in black and white so with our fast noise selected we're going to go over to our inspector window we're going to change this color to gradient with the gradient selected in our color we're going to go back over to our noise tab we're going to be bringing the brightness all the way down we're going to take the contrast and say basically move it all the way up as you can see we're getting more dark more black and more white at this point if you want we can increase the detail all the way up to 10. we can adjust the scale to how you want it i would suggest maybe somewhere around eight would be fine with our brightness on the slider we can only go to negative one if you want more you can just type it in and it will then increase the darkness now we want to animate some of this our red line is our current playhead position we are going to want to go over to our brightness and we're going to make a keyframe at that position and with that keyframe selected we're now going to bring over our playhead to a new position this is our current position of the playhead right here you can adjust the playhead by putting in whatever number you want for your playhead in this case we're going to go to 50. With that at 50 we're going to increase the brightness to something say 0.5. As we scrub between the two you can see that this is actually getting animated. Right now it kind of looks generic. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the seeth rate say all the way to 0.5. 
nine. With our merge node selected, we are going to add a displace node. So we're going to type that in and add a displace node after the merge. What the displace node does is it actually moves around our image based on our input. So as you see right now, we're going to make this as an output. This is what we see. What we're going to need now is we're going to bring down another fast noise and put it there and, and add the output of the fast noise to the input of the displace node. With this, the X reflection will move the text left and right. So X is left and right. As you can see, or the letters within the words here are changing based on the white of the obscurity of the fast noise. So we're going to move the X and Y for that. And the Y position is up and down. Does the same thing. It is based on the transparency of the fast noise that will translate to the letters being solid or see-through. For what we want, we do not want our whole words to move left and right. We want them to basically stay right where they are. So we're going to move the X position all the way down and the Y offset all the way down. So now when we move it, it just stretches out the words and it keeps the same position for start and finish of the words. From there, we are now going to go to the fast noise. And in the fast noise, we can bring up the scale. As you see, there is movement within the word. So we're going to increase the seeth rate. We're going to increase the seeth rate to say 0.6. So we are now going to adjust the scale. The scale is going to show you how much the letters are going to be distorted. We're going to bring this to about somewhere around 6. From there, the contrast is actually going to show you the movement. The higher it is, the quicker the movement. The lower it is, the less movement. So we're going to bring our movement up to, say, maybe 1.5. With these settings, there is no right, there is no wrong. It's basically how you want it. And you can come back and adjust it later. You can adjust it now. It is all user description. Now we're going to add some crackling effects to this. So we're going to copy our displace node, which is basically control C and control V on the computer. And at the same time, we're going to bring down another fast noise. And we're going to take the output of the fast noise to our displace node. With our fast noise in the left viewer and our displace in the right viewer, we're going to actually take the fast noise and we're going to increase the scale all the way up. As you can see, that brings this a lot of transparency and it makes our word seem like it's starting to crackle. At the same time, we're going to want to bring up the detail all the way. As you can see, that gives it a little bit of this lightning effect between the letters. We can bring up the contrast or down. And as you see, that just makes it a lot more energy going through it. So the lightning is more, it's a little bit too much at times. So we are going to actually put in a 0.8 and leave it at that. And while we're on the fast noise, we're going to do the last thing. And this is bring up the seeth rate all the way. That's just going to bring it in a little bit more clarity on the letters. So as you can see right now, our background is black. And if we ever want to be able to see through it, we're never going to see through it on our timeline when we start editing this. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to activate the displace mode. We're going to bring in and get rid of the background by bringing up a Luma Kia. And with the Luma Kia added and making that active, you can see that now our background is transparent. So now it doesn't look too bad as far as that goes. What we're now going to do is we're going to add some color and some glow to it. We're going to make sure the Luma Kia is active. We're going to look for a soft glow. Once we put the soft glow in the node tree, you can see that we have got a lot of distinguished clarity between the letters. With our first glow selected and the output there, we are going to be able to see how it does glow. We're going to bring that almost all the way down and we're going to put it at two for now. And that's just barely giving us any glow. To bring this to a default value, we double click the word glow 
and that will bring it to the default level. And from there, we're going to be bringing our gain down and we're going to bring it down to about 1.5. And once more, we are going to add another soft glow. So we're going to highlight and copy this and add it and put this into our node tree. With this selected, we are going to bring up our glow size considerably. Let's say we're gonna bring this up to 50. And with our gain, we're going to be dropping this down even more, say 0.75. With this, we are now able to see what it looks like. We're now going to add some color to this. So we're going to control space and bring up a color corrector and add that into the node tree. With that, we can actually drag this around. Once you highlight this as an output, so make it the left side or the right side. In this case, we're making it the right side. Then you can add whatever color you want, whether it's this or that. We're gonna add basically a, a mild glow of gold and leave it as such. With this, we can now add a merge node. We're going to take the output of the text and we're going to add it to the foreground of the merge node. And with this, we're going to take the output of the color corrector and add it to the background of the merge node. And once we highlight the merge node, we can see that we now have some glowing effect behind the word itself. One of the good things that we have when we are working with DaVinci is since we are working in nodes, Nodes can do many things at the same time versus other programs that work in layers. They can only do one thing at a time. With this, we can do multiple things. So we're going to actually add in a merge node down here by itself. With that merge node selected, we're going to take the output of the text node to the input of the merge node. And then we're going to take the output of the color corrector and we're going to add that to the background of the merge node. And then once this merge node is selected, you can now see that you have the word. With this, it still looks a little bit different. So we're going to take the merge node and we're going to take the apply node and change it to screen. And with the screen node, now we have lightning behind the words. With all that in place, as you can see, see your output now the word has got some lightning effect behind it and it's looking pretty good with this the white lettering doesn't really look all that good so you can go back and highlight the word text you can change the shading and you can change that to gradient and with that being in there you can then play around with all of the shading color that you want and with that we're going to go with this positioning here and that looks a little better because it gives it a more defined less bright word to be able to see this on the edit tab we are just going to take the output of the merge node and we're just going to drag that out to the medium node and now it's going to be visible on our edit tab once on the edit tab you can see you can loop this play it and now you can see the lightning effect between the words and letters now to add a background to this you just push this up one time frame and bring a background down on it if our word is too big we can just change the zoom of this position it to where you want it and then once you play it you now have now that you have everything on your timeline you can play it and you can see that you've got lightning between the words so over here in our text and change the word to anything that you want and it's going to follow what it is that you are typing in because it's all connected to the text node it's also if you replace this text node with a logo or a image you get the same effect so go ahead and try it see how it is and leave us a comment what you think